Hello and welcome to Some Values Between Dates. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna sum the amount column for transactions that fall between two dates. Let's get straight to it. Exercise one. In this first exercise, we're just gonna get warmed up with the sum ifs function. Equals sum ifs. All right, the first argument is the sum range. That's the column of numbers we wanna add, which is right here, comma. And then we set up a pair of arguments, the criteria range and the criteria value. So here we wanna say, add up this column of numbers, only include those rows where this value, comma, is equal to A, and we enclose that in quotes and enter. And now we get 1041, and that's the sum of the A transactions. Here, we added up the transactions where the criteria was equal to A. In the next exercise, we'll see how we can use comparison operators. Exercise two. In this exercise, we're gonna sum the number of customers who gave a particular rating score between four and five. For this, we're gonna need comparison operators. Equals sum ifs. We wanna add up the number of customers, comma, and only include those rows where this rating column, comma, is greater than or equal to four, and we enclose that in quotes, comma, and where the rating value, comma, is less than or equal to five. And we put that in quotes, enter. And now we've got it. And that's the sum of this column for ratings that fall between four and five. And we did that once again with these comparison operators enclosed in quotes. But now we need to see how we can point these to a cell reference. Exercise three. In this exercise, it all comes together. We're gonna add up these data transactions for the dates that fall between the from and to dates. Equals sum ifs. We wanna add this column of numbers, comma. We only wanna include those rows where the date, comma, is greater than or equal to this value, comma, and where the date column comma is less than or equal to this date. Close the function. Before we hit enter, let's review. We want to add up this column of numbers, good. We only want to include those rows where the date column is greater than or equal to the from date. And we enclose the comparison operator in quotes, and we join that to the cell value with the concatenation operator, the ampersand. And where the date column is less than or equal to, enclosed in quotes, joined by the concatenation operator to the cell that's in C7, enter. And now we've got it. And now we can say, what about 131? And we've got it, okay? Cool, so I hope this video helps you sum the values that fall between two dates. Thanks for joining me, have a great day. Hey Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 